All right, so we learned a little bit more about Lucas last time. Whoops, that was good. <laughs> so he went to school with Jeremy. Well, hello. That's good, get a little bit of backstory. I wonder if he knows all the guys in some way. That'll be kind of interesting. Well, that's a good face to start off. Hmm? Well, hey, what are you two doing? Karaoke? Jerkette, hi! Me and Bay were just doing some stuff together. Bay looks like he's seen something, <laughs> Shiloh. Hello, Sugar Plum. How nice! Can I join? We're actually on our way back. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Boo. I really could have used something to do. Jerkette, that you? Not that! <laughs> when I said do, I didn't mean do. It is. Sup. Go away, Lucas. I love how Bay looks very intrigued by what's going on. I was like, do go on. Lucas, this is the guy you told me about? You've been talking about me to your other boy toys. I'm touched. Uh huh. Would someone mind filling me in? Oh, never seen you before. I'm Lucas, the guy who's wooing your cat here. Wow. Charming. She's not interested in you. I get it, I get it. A love rival has appeared. Stop this right now. Hey, Jerkette, we shall leave these two to themselves and do something. It's been too long since we've had time with just us. No. Leave Jerkette alone! She doesn't like you! Chill, Papa. This is the game we play. No, it is not. Excuse me, Posey. We must be getting back to our dorms now. I'm not sure if a person like you would realize this, but our school has a curfew. I will report her if she doesn't come back with us. It'd be worth a report. I promise it won't be. He's not joking. Next time it is. Call me or text. Either is cool. See you around. Bay, thank you for saving me. That was incredibly sweet. And chivalrous. Uh-huh. I like that Shiloh ineffectively threatened him. He was just, like, not impressed. That was something. Thanks, you guys. Of course! We've never let that guy bother you. He's even worse than I imagined. Yes, he certainly seemed like the sticking type. How sad. Tell me how it goes. Why? Are you jealous? Only concerned. How sweet of you. Mm -hmm. Anywho, we shouldn't stay here. Yeah, at the rate you walk, we really might miss curfew. <laughs> I can truly sense your gratitude, Cookie. You know it. Let's go! You're gonna walk with us? That's great! It is great, Shiloh. Friendship and chivalry and things. Aw. I'm just falling for the other guys again. <laughs> that's all that's happening. <laughs> Especially my baby. Oh my god, I need to see Nate inter like in interact with this guy, though. And just go off on him. That would be amazing. Nate, you gonna make one more play? I'm okay with you making one more play. Bay's already done the play. He did his play. I'm excited. Hmm. Okay. And of course, it's always nice to see... Bay and Shiloh hanging out. What an interesting friendship that is. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if he shows up once every month. I haven't been paying attention, really. Hmm. We'll see. If he shows up in May, I'll pay attention when June comes around. He's not going to show up when we're on vacation, is he? <laughs> that would be really weird. <laughs> he just happens to be there like, what? But, uh, who? Although I would love to see his pajamas. 
And I don't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> Maybe I kind of do. Maybe I'm kind of like Bay in that way. <laughs> I like pajamas. Pajamas are so comfy. And you all know I already have like a problem when it comes to <laughs> pajamas. I own too many and need more. There's never enough. Alright, well, he showed up in May. Hey, Winku. How's it? Hello? <sighs> yeah, why the fuck are we all here? To talk about the evil Halloween haired pumpkin man, Lucas. Ugh, you're joking? No. Shiloh and Bay told me they want to know how things are going, and you and Jeremy can't pretend like you're not interested in a way to get rid of him. Pran is here because Jeremy is, or because he just felt like it. Wait, he knows Jeremy? Um, we went to school together before I came here. Well, fuck. What's he do to you? He says I'm his platonic soulmate. That shit. He calls me a petite fashionista. Wow, I like that Jeremy and Everett are actually having a bonding moment of like, man, that guy's the worst. That's awful. Yeah. Now kiss. Weird. Yep. That's not weird. We have a common enemy. I've gathered us here today to find a way to defeat him. I'll do anything I can. Sigh. Whatever. Have I ever seen Jeremy look like that before? With his eyes closed? I don't remember seeing that face. I guess. Of course, I'd be happy to help you with this little problem you're having. Mm. Excellent. Now we just need Nate and the team will be complete. I'll call him. Hell no! Why not? You love having Nate fix everything wrong in your life. That ass is a dick, and if Nate hears what's going on, he'll never be able to stop stressing about it. He's got a billion things to take care of already. Aw, Everett! You're so good to your friend. We can deal with this fuck ourselves. Yeah, you're such a good friend. Yeah, I am. I must agree. Nate is far too... sensitive for such a situation. Fuck you! Everett is too, but unfortunately, it seems him being here is unavoidable. Fuck you! Oh, brother. Fine, we'll go ahead without Nate. Now, does anyone have any ideas? Pfft. I'm probably gonna call the cops if I see him again. Uh-huh. I feel like that's a tiny bit too drastic. I'm pretty positive he's only annoying and not dangerous. So? The coppers have better things to do, Everett. Then I'm out of ideas. Anyone else? Perhaps you could find out who his parents are and talk to them about how he's been behaving. How would we do that? Oh, I'm sure there's a way, sweet pea. We'll keep that in mind. Next! I don't like the idea of you being alone with a guy like that. I think you should have someone with you when you leave the school. I can volunteer whenever you need it. Ugh, can't you shut that off for one goddamn second? We can so kick you out of this stupid a club if you're only gonna be here to kiss a Well, there's strength in numbers. If we're with other people, he might not come over, and even if he does, it'd be easier to ignore him. That's actually your master plan? The buddy system? Uh-huh. That's a terrible idea. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, why do you even dislike Lucas? Why wouldn't I? He can't take a freaking hint. But you can't either. What? That is not the same thing. Yeah, it is. No! I'm honest about who I like. He should have been able to get that by now. You clowns can't bring yourselves to admit how you feel, or you just love to complain, so you pretend not to be into it while obviously going along with everything I say willing. If you really didn't like me, I would have left you alone. And yet, here we are, all together, trying to find a way to avoid someone you honestly don't like. Have you ever done that over my attempts to hang out with you? Oh, we got the blushing Jeremy! What? 
that's what I thought. Not a single rebuttal. Wow. I guess it's settled then. The buddy system it is. Wonderful. Ha. Uh, come on, how long can he keep this up? I'm sure if we band together, everything will work out. Why don't you talk to him more? Seriously? You're suggesting talking to someone as a solution? How is that gonna help? Why would he want to be around people like you? You're awful. You know what? Pran has hit on something there. We got put in an after-school group because we're unbearable. Alright, we stick together and whenever Lucas shows his dingy face next, we make him reconsider wanting to hang out with people like us. You're not unbearable, Jerkit. Shiloh's getting started with being f***ing obnoxious already. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be just fine. Um, I know him the most, and that's really unlikely. Save those negative Nancy comments for Lucas, Jeremy. You don't want to peek early. If you say so. Good! This meeting is adjourned, but keep an eye out for any texts or calls from each other. We're still pairing up. Yes, yes, Lynn. We'll keep that in mind. True. I was totally channeling Lynn right there. Should we tell him what's going on? No. No. Mm, no. No. I think we should. Well, everyone is against the idea. <laughs> Never mind that little mouse that squeaked. That's alright with me. I want to settle this Lucas problem with my own hands. Lynn would just get in the way. Okay, see you guys later. I love that we've got a team going on. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Like, just dealing with an annoying person. Alright, it's only been a couple of days later. Let's, let's get into it. Well, hello, Jeremy, looking schnazzy. Hey, Jeremy, thanks for coming with me today. Even though you think it's a futile endeavor, I appreciate the effort. Whatever. <laughs> Honestly, someone like you needs more help with this kind of thing than me. I mean, exactly how long have you been dealing with that guy? You went to school together, right? It's been a year or two or more. I don't remember. Oh my god, seriously? Why the hell is he so dedicated to you? I don't know. But you can see why I don't think this is going to do anything. He's not easily discouraged, to say the least. Yeah. Still, it's probably you, not him. You're too much of a pushover for your own good. Everything will be different now that I'm here. Huh, I guess. Hey, looks like the cutie club is on a field trip. Gross. What are you wearing today? <laughs> Alright, you got the fake ripped jeans and your lolly- You think you're cool with your lollipop, Lucas? You're, you're kind of cool with your lollipop. <laughs> How's it, dudes? Not good. We don't have time for you, Halloween hair. Move along. The two of us are very busy. I'll tag along, then. What are we so busy with? There is no Lucas in we. You're not invited. But there is a we in Halloween. Sigh. Sheesh. Then you can go have your own pumpkin party. You are still not welcome to what me and Jeremy are doing. Who needs an invite? I can crash. Uh, people who don't- Oh, sorry, that's Jeremy. Uh, people who don't want to go their entire lives being unwanted nuisances need invitations. I understand why you wouldn't know how that works, even after all this time you've wasted. Obviously, you haven't been offered one and never will be. Oh, snap! Sick burn. He's like, ah. All right, another day. But before I go, want a lolly? I can always share some sweets with people who are as sweet as you. Yuck. It's good, try it. Back away from the young man and stop offering your trash. We don't know where that's been. Oh, I can tell you where it's been. Maybe we should call the police after all. Look at that evil smile. Ha. <laughs> See you buds around. That was awful. 
Agreed. But still, he left pretty quick. This is so gonna work. Ah, uh, if that's what you want to think. Yeah, it's gonna work. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> Lucas, why? Why are you like this? Is he... English? I've, like, I've got quite, cause, like, usually, like, even here in Canada, I don't, I've never heard anyone say lolly for lollipop or refer to candy as sweets. That's usually, like, a very British thing. So, I'm like, is he not American? I need to, like, hear more from him, I guess. But I'm curious. <laughs> That'd be really funny if he's, like, another... I think Marty was French, right? From uh, Lucky Rabbit. I tell ya, it could be a crossover here. Ah yes, I forgot about that hat. Oh man, guess who's looking fly today? It's you, dude. <laughs> Everett's eyes just go really wide. And sup, Jerkat, your vision. Fucking damn it. It's cool, Everett. Everything is okay. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're hot. And we'd be looking so much better if our space wasn't being brought down by your shitty face. That rhymes. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what you doing? Not you. Fuck off. I didn't know that option was even on the table to be rejected. I'm happy to have this info. I'm talking about her, you jackass. So you're not turning it down for us. Nice. I'm so far out of your league, that line is not even a joke. It's a goddamn tragedy. Right. A guy like you, I bet, has to beat waves of clamoring girls back with a stick. Which has got to be a challenge for someone of your stature. Oh, that short joke. Size isn't everything. Pfft, duh. You're here with me and he can't even get one girl to give him the time of day. I guess not everyone can bring out that nurturing instinct in the person. It's hard to compete with that, but I'm up to the task. Ugh. Thanks, fuck that dick is gone. We should never speak to him again. Ha. Okay. Are you trying to ignore me? <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve that? We're having a good time. Do you hear something, Jerkut? No, come on. All right, all right. I'll see you two around. <laughs> Power couple, Everett and Jerkut. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so far, buddy system is working pretty good. I'm, I'm proud. I can't wait. Where's my, where's my extra bay date I get to go on? <laughs> Uh, oh. Well, it's it's either Bay or Shiloh now, so let's see. Okay, I'm glad it's you next, because I'd rather end on the high note of Bay. We're almost back, and there's no sign of that Lucas person. I'm so glad we're not going to see him. Don't jinx it, Shiloh. It could still happen. I'm sorry, you're right. Ugh! Huh? Hey! Huh. Sorry. It's fine. Let's just get rid of him. If it isn't the princess and her loyal god pup. Is this really happening? If that's what we are, what does that make you? The knight in shining armor. You're not protecting her from anything. Yeah, guess again. Hmm. I got it. I'm the charming prince from the neighboring kingdom. We're two worlds apart, but destined to be. Not even close. You're some kind of annoying pumpkin monster thing that grows back no matter how many times we try to rid ourselves of it. Wow. That makes our star-crossed love even more intense. Impressive. Most impressive. Oh, brother. That's funny, Jerkit. Can I try picking something, too? Knock yourself out. Yeah, then we can finally be alone. Someone can't take a hint. Great! I guess that he's... 
a villager who came from a different country. Okay. Sick bad, bro. <laughs> you roasted him. Let him explain. There is an explanation, isn't there, Shiloh? Of course. A villager is a simple person with a simple life. If they left where they were, it's because they wanted more than they had, and most likely more than they deserved. Oh, okay. I'll give you some props for that. They insert themselves into this new situation with nothing but hopes and dreams, not even being able to speak the same language. It doesn't go well. They're shunned, rightly so. Now, whether they keep fighting against unwinnable odds, or they accept that it's beyond their reach and leave it, will be unfortunate for them either way. Ah, I see it now. Well, I tried. It wasn't as good as yours, though, Jerkette. <laughs> it works for me. We'll be on our way now. Sha, see you. Bye! Wow, this is just... Roast Lucas. <laughs> the game. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Like, oh. Man, Bay is gonna have such good roasts, though. Like, he is the roast king. Oh, is it time? Hold on. Uh, I gotta drink water in preparation. I'm, I'm excited. Alright. Oh! I forgot that Pran was part of the, the meeting. <laughs> Pran, I'm sorry! Oh, but, like, your double sarcasm combined is going to be too much for my heart. Hmm. Mm. So, then I said... Yeah, you know, I really hate to interrupt your never-ending story, Bay, but we've got company. We do. Yes, Lucas is right over there. How fascinating. Anywho. Stop! We need to do something. Hey, we should run! We could be halfway home before he even realizes what happened. Uh, no, I won't be doing that. Fine, let's just get this over with then. Lucas! Huh? We're getting this over with! Hey, Jerkette, prawn, guy I don't know. Glad to see you. Don't call me that. That's Bay. You met him once already? Who's Bay? I am. Yeah, you. Who are you a bay too? <laughs> I'm glad we brought back the bay bay joke. Is that? She's the one who called me that gumdrop. I'm certain you can figure it out. Ooh, yeah! You're always my bay bay. You two. You're an item. No, everyone calls him that because it's his name. Pran, we were having a great moment. <laughs> Pranny, how kind of you to help him. A shame he wasn't able to get it on his own. Ha, huh. I can see you get a kick out of that name. Of course. Leave, we don't want you here. You've got a real interesting circle of friends there, Jerkat. I know, it's great. We're not friends. True. We're more than just friends, we're groupmates. It's pretty special. Outsiders wouldn't understand. Oh, Everett, when did you arrive? That was a little bit like Everett. Though, not like that loser would ever admit what a strong bond we all have. Aha, uh -huh, yes, I wonder why that is. Because it isn't true. It is. You're all just a bunch of babies. You're wrong. I like that Lucas is just kind of observing what's happening. If that makes her happy, I suppose she can think whatever incorrect thing she wants. No. Are you saying you honestly want to put in the effort to change her mind? No. Then you simply need to let it be. No. Charming. Uh, guys, where did Lucas go? It seems he left. That's unfortunate. Ha! I told you this plan would work. He's getting sick of us. We're gonna be rid of him for sure. Yes, yes, dear. I don't care. 
It does seem to be rather effective. I'm suspicious though. I'm really suspicious because Nate is not part of this plan. And I know we've like cut him out because oh he'd be like really stressed about it and stuff, but I think there's a more of a reason for why that is, and I'm worried that like him and Lucas are like really good friends. <laughs> And it's gonna be like, wait, what? Uh, there's something, something's going on with Nate. Something fishy. That's, that's my theory. Well, hello, all you beautiful people. Why did I have to come if you already had the two of them? Because it's been a while since we've gone out for this. Are you even doing this because of Lucas anymore? You had to know that from the very beginning, this was at least partly an excuse to spend time together. Huh, yep. This is great. We've gotten so much closer as a group. I know, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. It's adorable. Ew. Eloquent as always. Oh, hey. Wow, hi, Everett. I can't believe you're the we happen to run into instead of Lucas. That hardly ever happens. <laughs> so you haven't seen him? Uh-huh. All's clear for now, but we're keeping an eye out. <laughs> oh my. It better stay that way. It won't. You're fucking right. You know what? Who even cares? I'm having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yes! Absolutely. No. Hell no. Exactly. And that's all that matters. Let's just keep that in mind. Sap dudes. Well, there it is. The asshole we all expected to see today. Hello, Lucas. Hello, my homies. What's good? Nothing anymore now that you're here. Nothing ever. Haha. <laughs> Looks like we have a couple of mopey boys. What can we do to lift those spirits? You could explain why you never seem to have anything to do. Spending time with the people I like is at the top of my list of priorities. Hmm. Have you considered putting some loftier goals on that little list of yours? No, ma'am. I suggest that you do. Shit. You don't need to feel bad, Everett. We're talking about Lucas's time management today, not yours. No, I remember Nate was gonna meet me. That's why I'm here. We were supposed to go to Fuchsia today. Tell him not to come. I can't cancel on Nate. Then at least tell him to go there instead. You can catch up with him later. Who's Nate? That's Everett's platonic soulmate. It's very true. Oh yeah, I think I'd like to meet him. Fuck no! Nate is a fragile young lad. You may be a bit much for him. Is that so? Shoo, Lucas! Go on, you're not welcome here. Aw, I've got to tell him hi before running off. I don't want to be rude. You couldn't be not rude to save your life. You wound me, madam. Let me stick around and I'll show you just how much of a charmer I can be. No, leave. Too late, it seems. What a shame. You look like you're <laughs> in as much anticipation of this meeting as I am. Hey. Holy balls! It's you! You're Nate? Yes, why? Are you harassing these people? No, it wasn't me. It was him. Hmm. Four Eyes were saying terrible things about you when you weren't around. I'd believe that. Yeah, yeah. So, the thing is, I've got this very important doctor's appointment, and I'm gonna be late if I don't get going, so can I just leave? Fine. Get out of my sight. Woo! Nate is the real knight! Can do. Thank you, Nate. Don't call me by name. Yes, sir. 
I'm going now. Peace. Wow. The man, the legend, the Nate. <laughs> what the hell was that? What was what? Why did your mere presence make Lucas freaking bolt? His name is Lucas. You didn't even know his name? No. I met him only once before. We didn't introduce ourselves. Okay. I ask again, what did you do to that man? I scolded him. Mm-hmm. And then what? Nothing. That's all I did. That guy, Lucas. He came over to me unprompted and uninvited while I was shopping a few months ago. He was extremely impolite. I was obligated to give him a talking to. I have to know what was said in this talking to. It doesn't matter. That lecture isn't for you. Let's go, Everett. I don't have time to talk. I need to eat. Yeah, bye. Aww. I wonder if Lucas will be gone forever now. I hope so. Same. Really? I thought he was pleasant in an immature way. Much like all of you. <laughs> oh, you guys. That was amazing. I knew Nate was going to be cool about it. Ah, uh, right. And now we have the trip. <laughs> okay, so he wasn't a friend. He just, like, laid down the alpha dog law and was like, don't you mess with me. Ah, uh, that's, that's great. And I love that we got to spend all this time with these guys. It's really nice, this late in the game. I do miss them, after all. I love that he just freaking bolted. <laughs> ah, so what's gonna happen now? Will he try to text one on one again? That would be safe, the safest option. Hmm. So many questions. <laughs> 